Hey, welcome back to Overall Living again. So today we are today we have done lots of stuff, but this evening we are tapping into the complete guide to pressure canning, and we're gonna try a recipe of our water you know, falling in the floor. I hope you didn't have nothing else marked. Okay, that was loaded potato soup, so I lost the chicken. There we go real life <laughs> so we're gonna do this chicken soup recipe screenshot there you go so now you got the recipe so apparently you chop up some some carrots <laughs> part one part one so anyway, it makes uh, eight quarts or 16 pints. Um, I'm not gonna read the whole thing off. Preparation, 32 cups, water, blah, 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 blah. You saw it, you could have screenshotted it if you wanted to. So right now we're peeling carrots and we'll come back with more in a minute after we peel all the carrots. And by we, I mean her, our video. <laughs> okay, I'll peel some carrots more. You gonna get you a snack too? That's one of the best parts of using vegetables. All the scraps feed my birds. All right, while well, we were slicing and dusting. The jars were, what do you call it? Water bathing? Sanitizing? Sanitizing. You're sanitizing? Yep. So we got seven big jars and- Two little ones. She just put two little ones in there. We're gonna go with seven quarts and two pints. Mm -hmm. All right, I don't know why you started crying there in the middle. It was kind of upsetting. Too much onions. She yeah. was, uh, she was distraught about chopping up the vegetables. The onions, they just make me so sad. Oh, poor thing. All right, let's see. We need basil. Basil? basil. Where are we going to find basil? Oh, I don't know. Maybe that fresh basil straight out of the garden. There we go. We got basil. And we got some more outside on the porch in the dehydrator. I guess I need to just scrunch it up. Okay. So food's finally chopped. You want some more? I want some more. It smells really good. I love the smell of basil in the evening. Or any time, really. See? Where did this stand go? I'll put your bucket back over there. Thank you. That's it? Just Maybe do a little, little bit more. more. It's basil, you can't taste it. We have plenty. Oh, it's so good. Ta-da. You get good smelling hands. It's better than the onions. 
What'd you get there? One tablespoon, of course, sea salt. That's all. Good job, I guess. Mm -hmm. One, two. Ground black pepper. Ground right. black pepper. Okay. This is supposed to be chicken soup? Chicken soup. It almost looks like some kind of vegetable soup with a little chicken on the side. So you're gonna talk about your bird there? So it calls for a whole bird that you're supposed to cook. And so I did this yesterday so that it's already done. Um, I saved my stock and put it in containers overnight so that we could reheat it today. Um, that's what's boiling in the other pan or other pot on the stove. But it says to chop your chicken or pull it apart, finally make it sizes that you would want in soup. So that's what we have. You like that size or you gonna chop it? I think it's some of it needs to be a little bit smaller, but it's pretty good. It's good. Yep. Yeah. Alright. So I think we're supposed to bring all this to a boil. I'm supposed to look. Mm -hmm. All right, this is our big stock pot that now has the chicken, the celery, the carrots, the garlic, the basil, salt, pepper, ingredients. onions. <laughs> the ingredients, people, ingredients. the ingredients. All of this stuff that makes it good and yummy. So it's all in here and we are supposed to make it come to a boil for at least five minutes and then we will ladle it into our containers. So, more to come. It does look pretty good. It does. It smells really good, too. I don't know if you can smell it. Mm. Oh, that does smell good. Yeah. Is that what we're having for dinner? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the grand reveal. Steamed up everything. <laughs> All right, so there it is. Um, we boiled it for five minutes, like it said. And now it's time to ladle it into the jars. Let's set it up. Before we put our lids on, we're going to take a little white vinegar and just wipe around the top just to make sure that there's nothing firm when we were trying to seal them or trying to fill them and we didn't get anything on it. We don't want there. This is important so you don't get anything bad in there and that you have a good seal whenever you're putting your tops on. Towel or washcloth and some white vinegar and just wipe it around. It's pretty good. <laughs> Has been approved. So if you didn't notice, 
I'll just put a lid on these two. These two little uh, pint, pint jars. I'll get it in a minute. They're just chicken broth. Uh, just the broth from the soup. But it is good. So we're going to uh, go ahead and save it too. There wasn't enough of the actual ingredients to go. So I guess it only technically only does seven, seven quarts. But there's plenty of broth. <laughs> and we figure what we'll actually end up doing is making some noodles and putting with it and having a good chicken noodle soup. Yeah, that would be an awesome chicken noodle soup. Processing in an hour and 30 minutes. So an hour and 15 minutes. Oh. One hour and 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, she was right. What do I know? All right. I'm gonna he go. was looking for the prep time, not just the cook time. Once I'm going to go chop some wood or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we wait. Okay. Now we wait made it an hour and a half of babysitting a, a, a pressure cooker, which is what you have to do with a glass cooktop. You can't just set it and forget it. So you have to stay here. So I have turned it off and the pressure is going down. Um, we can pull the little top here and let it steam out. You want me to pull it? Can I pull it? You can pull it. Let's move it where it's not going to go right into it. Rotate. And you can push it over off of the hot burner if you want. I don't think you can see the steam on there. want to just try and open your lid without pulling the pressure off. That's how people get injured. Watch the gauge going down. Make sure it gets two zero before you try to open it. The welder hands are coming in handy. <laughs> you can pull that out. Soup's on! So you have a little pressure valve that's on the back side of your pot. As long as that pressure valve is up, it is not safe to open. So you have to wait for the pressure to reduce enough that that can actually pop down. 
until then you leave it alone even if it says zero on the front it still has pressure and you do not open it until that pops down it does say zero on the front so like i said even if it says zero you wait for that to go down because it's still releasing pressure again you don't want to hurt yourself Now how long will they boil like this forever? Until they cool down. You can pull them out and put them over. No. <laughs> There's not a lot of water in that thing. Mm -mm. No. Actually, I have very little water in it. It's just enough to build up the steam and the pressure. Now we sit there all night and wait to hear the tink as they seal. Have some good chicken soup. See them still rolling over. Yep, they're still boiling. It's hot. Yes, it is. Okay, we got seven quart jars of chicken soup from our book. I don't know if we've shown this or not before. Complete guide to pressure canning. Have you used many of the recipes out of here? Mm, three or four. And they work out pretty good, huh? So far, so good. With a little bit of tweaks. A little bit of tweaks. All right, so that's it for tonight. Y'all have a good one. <laughs>